All right, now we're going to have a really brief little lesson on motion in counterpoint. Again, I'm not going to be going into the deep weeds of, uh, of all the counterpoint stuff, but there's some. this is a very basic concept we need to grab a handle on, uh, and it's called motion. Now, there are four kinds of motion. There's contrary motion, parallel motion, similar motion, and oblique motion. This little example will explain it. I've written the intervals underneath uh, the first several notes so you can get an idea. Uh, and I've left some blank lines and some blank measures at the end so that something you can figure out. Uh, so anyway, let's start off with the first motion, contrary motion. Contrary motion is where two voices move in opposite directions. Now again, if you'll notice, we are avoiding the intervals of the second, the fourth, and the seventh. Our first interval is an octave, a D to a D, going to our second measure, which is an E to a C sharp. We went from an octave, interval of an octave, to an interval of a sixth. Again, sixth as based on that bottom note, the E. If you just go up the letters of the alphabet, E, F, G, A, B, C sharp, it's a sixth. And we went from an octave to a sixth, two notes moving in opposite directions, top voice moving down, bottom voice moving up, contrary motion. Now we have in the second and third measure, parallel motion. This is where you go from one interval to the exact same interval distance with two different notes. We go from a sixth, an E to a C sharp, to another sixth, an F to a D, F, G, A, B, C, D. So we went from a sixth to a sixth, both voices moving the same direction, both voices going from one interval to the exact same interval distance based on a different note, a sixth to a sixth. Now, the next motion we have is a similar motion. Similar is both notes move in, a different in the same direction, but they start off at one interval and they go to a different interval. In this case, we're starting from a sixth, an F to a D, F, G, A, B, C, D, to an E to a B, which is a fifth, E, F, G, A, B. Sixth to a fifth, similar motion going the same direction, but going to a different interval distance from one set of notes to the other. We went from a sixth to a fifth in the same direction. Now, we have what's called, the last type of movement is called an oblique. An oblique motion is where one note stays the same and the other voice moves up or down, doesn't matter. In this case, we started a fifth, an E and a B, and we go to a third, an E. Bottom note stays the same, but the top voice moved from a B down to a G. It's called oblique. Again, contrary, two voices move in opposite directions. Parallel, two voices move in the same direction, starting and ending on the same intervallic distance. In this case, our case, a sixth to a sixth. Uh, similar, two voices moving in the same direction, but they start at one interval and go to a different one. In this case, we went from a sixth to a fifth, both voices moving down. Then we have oblique. One voice stays the same, the top voice moves. So we went from a fifth to a third, the E stayed the same in the bottom voice, and the top voice moved downwards. Now, um, let's take a look at our next motion and see if you can tell me what motion is implied here. Uh, we have a third going to a sixth. Bottom note stays the same. The top voice moves from a G up to a C. What kind of motion is that? What kind of motion has one voice staying the same and the other voice moving? You should have figured that out by now, so I'll just go ahead and tell you. It's oblique. Very good. Now, let's take a look at the next one. We got a sixth going to something. Oh, goodness, what is that other something? I didn't put the interval down. Well, let's see if we can figure that out. Bottom note's an F, right? Top note's a D. Let's see how far away from F, D is. Starting at F, we count up the alphabet, musical alphabet, F, G, A, B, C, D. You should have come to the number six. D is six notes above F. That's a sixth. So we're starting on a sixth. We're ending up on a sixth based on a different note and the voice is moving in the same direction, what kind of motion is implied here? Same interval, beginning in, same intervallic distance, beginning and end, 
moving the same direction is called parallel motion. Very good. All right, now let's look at the next measure. We have a C sharp and an E. Hmm, a C sharp and an E. What is that interval there? Well, letter C, letter D, letter E. Oh, that's a third. Oh, it's space, space. Note on a space, note directly above it on a space. That's a third. Okay, got it. So now we have a sixth on the previous measure going to a third. Both notes moving in the same direction, but ending up on a different interval distance than they started. We started on the sixth, we end up with a third. Both voices moving in the same direction. That must be what kind of motion? All right. Two notes moving in the same direction. One starts on a sixth. The other one ends up on a third. We're talking similar motion. Now, let's take a look at the very last measure. We have two notes that are on the same line. What's the interval there? Oh, that's a unison, two Ds. Now, let's take a look at the motion between that measure and the measure preceding it. We have a C sharp and an E. And, both, and then we go to a measure where both voices are on a D. We have two, one top voice moved down to a D. The bottom voice moved up to a D. What kind of motion is that? Oh, contrary motion. So to review, we have four kinds of motion. Contrary, parallel, similar, oblique. Contrary motion, both voices moving in opposite directions to each other. Parallel motion, both voices moving in the same direction, and they start and end up on the same intervallic distance. In our example here, we went from a sixth to a sixth in the second and third measure. Similar motion, both voices move in the same direction, but they end up on a different interval distance than they what, from what they started. In our case, we went from a sixth to a fifth, measure three and four, and both voices moved in the same direction. We have uh, oblique motion where one voice stays the same and one other voice moves. Make sense? Cool. All right, Mr. G out. Have a wonderful, fantabulous. Oh, by the way, I forgot. I did something in order. I did this little lesson to show you how motion works. I just noticed I did something that was uh, undesirable. Um, please remember this. Similar motion to a fifth. Let's uh, remember that because I'm going to talk more about that in this next lesson. That's really kind of right now illegal. So don't tell anybody. All right, Mr. G out.